Hey guys, Choxy here, and yeah, I'm not dead. Yeah, I'm back, kind of. Um, I'm working on a project now. Uh, I'm back to playing. If you want to add me in-game, I will leave my in-game name in the description. Please help me if you can with something gifted. I don't know if you want, because my account is pretty dead. It got, like, hacked two times, but I don't want to change it, because too much work for me now and I don't have the time okay so let's get to the point here I make another tutorial after like half a year maybe more if you remember my last tutorial was about making the light rays from the sky and all of those things so yeah this tutorial will be about something pretty similar uh, it's my pretty much my aspect of, the, of an effect that has been used by a lot of editors but most of the editors do this by Adobe After Effects or the combining presets and overlays um, and most of them do not know how to make it simply and like more diverse and you can play with it and do a lot of uh, cool stuff with it okay I will show you an example yeah that's a preview from my new project so I will not show you everything, just a small part. You saw this? This part, the, the effect that's coming out like the circle. Okay, there's another uh, option to use this effect for. Um, wait. You saw the circle is coming out. Okay. After a short demonstration, I'm sorry I can't show you more of this because it's a new project and I don't have any more projects I can show you I'm using this effect on because I pretty much deleted all of them. So let's get to the point. I just picked the same clip, one of the clips I used in my project. And let's just use it from the point that the shot is being made, the kill, the kill shot. So let's cut it here, I don't need anything else. Oh, and there's a trick I will show you a trick because most of them are doing it wrong most of the editors are doing this effect wrong and are using overlays and stuff that shows you only like um, the cutout of the circle and the circle is different color a bit and it's with a CC you can't really tell the effect and if it's a bright CC you can barely tell the effect so there's a neat trick I use, um, there's a few presets, I will pause them when I use them. Add first, go to black and white, add black and white, um, yeah, add black and white, and then go to levels, and I will pause this, this is my preset for this, just pause and use this. Okay, after you've done this, you see the it's black and kind of weird no that's not the point of it you would need to duplicate the layer and yes don't make it add make it alpha source just to wait delete both of those you don't need them anymore um, and now go to an effect that's called cookie cutter use um, this option um, use feather to like uh, something like this that's pretty much good you can use um, even more if you want just do it by the clip all the way to zero the size and go free free frames forward and just make it so it touches the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen so it's pretty much something like this you can even make it like this or something and then go 10 frames forward and then move it to around 450 close enough and then go 5 frames forward and just take it all the way in and now look how it looks you can see it's coming out and you can see the black sides and everything like um, Golly Woggy used to use this effect but he was made in it in uh, Adobe After Effects and it's pretty much a lot 
harder to make in, in After Effects and it's harder to like control the effect and do crazy shit with it. So okay, that's not all of the effect. So I'll show you another thing that make the effect more uh, stand out and you can see it more and it's more more like uh, popping out. Use light rays. Use it to like 500 uh, here and for um, a bit less like 300. Uh, yeah, 300 and this is like this and you can see it but it looks weird after it finishes so just keyframe it just do this free um, don't do this go to here and just keyframe it a bit lower and then all the way down it will look pretty good yeah and there's another trick I use I go to basic color correction and stuff and then make some templates and change the color of it a bit and play with it but mostly you should use like um, magic bullet looks for this like I have a preset um, let's use this you can see it fairly good you see the sides yeah that's a pretty neat effect of mine I pretty much got it on my own. Um, if you want to use it, it's pretty di it's pretty n uh, simple and it's pretty diverse. You can like add more effects to it, like TV simulator, and change like the sides and play with it like this. And you see, it's pretty much um, looking good every time you use it. So you can diverse it, add like. Um, popping effects and flashes and all the things you want but this is the basic one I want to show you uh, thanks for watching and yeah subscribe and like and as always see you next time